one. Hello, my name is Jean Nichols. I'm at Quilters Headquarters in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, and today I want to show you how I put binding on a quilt. Here's the tools that you need. A couple of pins, a pencil, and a good pair of scissors. I cut my binding strips at two and a quarter inch, and I sew them all together by drawing a line. I place them right sides together. I draw a line from corner to corner, and then when I'm done stitching, I cut a quarter inch seam allowance and I press them open. So I got my binding on most of this quilt. I want to show you how I do a corner. So you start by sewing. You do a quarter inch seam. And you stop when you get a quarter inch from the end of the quilt. Then you're going to turn it and go off of that corner. So you'll have it like this. Now you're going to bring your binding strip up like that. So you have this line is going straight here and you fold it back down and now your fold is straight across there. You're going to line this up with that edge and continue sewing. I got to need to leave myself a tail here, so I'm going to go just a couple more stitches here. And I'll show you how we join the ends together. So you have your quilt like this. Now, we need to get these lined up. Take a piece of your binding strip and just cut it like that. And you're going to lay that on here. And you're going to bring this end over, line that up with the side here. If this is really long, then you're going to draw a line here, and you're going to trim this one. Take your other end, fold it in half, lay it down there. It's in line with your strip of fabric, so you're going to put a mark at this end. And then take your scissors and cut right on that line you just drew. Take all that away. Lay these back down. They should overlap the width of your binding. And now you're going to take it like this. You want to make sure you have your right sides together. Bring it up. Give it a twist. Like that. You're going to sew from this corner to this corner. So I'll show you again. You make sure that you have your right sides together. Bring it up. Match these corners. And put your pins in it. And you're going to sew from this corner to this corner. And you're going to sew from this corner to this corner. If you leave yourself a little bit longer tail, it would be a little bit easier. There's my other corner down here, so I'm going to go right to that corner. We'll open it up and see if it's going to lay nice and flat. So you want to look at that, and then trim this. And I just finger press it open. And then fold it in half.
my binding strips are cut at two and a quarter and I don't press them before I put them on my quilt because I think your center line changes a little bit anyway so I don't think you really need to do that. So then you lay this back on, continue sewing. Fold that in half a little better. Everybody's all lined up good. On this quilt, I'm going to bring the binding around and stitch it down by hand. If I was going to do the whole thing by machine, I would sew my binding on the back, and then I would bring it around to the front. But there you have it. It's all sewed down nice and neat. And then you'll bring this back around to the other side and either stitch it down by hand, or if this is the front of your quilt, You'll stitch right next to the edge and try and stitch in the ditch on this side. Thank you for watching our video. Come and see us at Quilters Headquarters in Sioux Falls, South Dakota.